and welcome to another episode today as you can tell from the title we're racing at the French National Championships in this boat behind me but before we get to go to said French National Championships we have to prepare the boat behind me so first step after a lovely session this morning out there on the river behind me we're polishing the entire boat getting extra slick so we can go as fast as we can this weekend at the French National Championships. So let's get cleaning. of you that have never been in a boat and you're questioning why bother polishing the boat at all you're in water most of the time anyway so it's going to be clean it's going to be smooth well in fact the boat actually especially session after session month after month year after year the boats can build up dirt and grime on them so this is a good example and I'm hoping that the camera shows it up right here you can see where dirt and grime have built up over time this looks a bit cleaner because this has just been wiped and this is the color of the boat previously and so doing that to the whole boat especially in the boat the size of an eight can make a big difference i don't have any science to back that up i'm not a doctor so i don't know if it actually makes a difference but there's one thing taking care of your equipment making it look that bit shinier that bit better makes a difference in the mind so therefore does it matter if it actually literally makes a difference if it makes a difference in that sort of placebo effect kind of kind of deal or if it literally makes the boat go faster because it's that bit smoother and that bit, it makes it glide that bit better in the water in my experience when the Yamagini name yet to be determined came back from repair and getting resprayed it got polished and I could feel a significant difference between the two the water sounded like it was flowing by that bit differently but I couldn't really tell if that's because it was polished or because the boat was now didn't have holes in it because of the repair who knows I will let you know though after we get the boat here back on the water after being polished if there is a sound difference if there is a feeling difference or no difference at all but one thing is for certain it's going to be shinier it's going to look good and it's going to look clean for our race coming up at the French National Championships for you And obviously, cleaning is a very hard job. So we've got some pano chocolat from Bejoul and where is he? Roma, Roman lettuce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste good. And that is the polishing complete on the boat the entirety of the boat is polished and as you can tell I think here well I can tell I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell the discoloration of different parts of the boat the dirt and grime that built up on the boat has now disappeared and it's gone and as you can tell as well from the towel test the towel just flies on the boat so hopefully it'll do the same on the water excited to get the boat back onto the water in the next session so we'll see you there for some pre-workouts before the French National Championships this weekend are oh, you yeah. 
as we polish the boat, making it hopefully glide that little bit better and of course look a lot better, getting all nice and clean. I'm going to try and do the same with me because remember, look good, feel good, roll good. So, we're going to go to the barbers here in Nantes and see if we can fix this. So let's get to it. And we've made it back from the barbers now. Let me know in the comments below what you think, but look good, feel good, roll good, aerodynamic, ready to go to the French National Championships. Now, we're gonna get into the eight for the last session for me here in Nantes, and then we're gonna dereg, put the boat on the trailer, and then head to Vichy, where we will race in the French National Championships. <laughs> And the last session complete on the L3. Now time to take apart the eight. Put it on the trailer. For the championships. <laughs> Cameron fans. Cameron. Follower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On YouTube Subscribe channel. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Right now. Yeah. Great job. Hola, sir. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just tying down the eight now onto the trailer after a wonderful session in the eight in preparation for the champs. So, we're probably now fuel up, because remember food is fuel, and then get on with traveling to Vichy for the championships. <laughs> to where we will be staying for the French National Championships. As you can tell, it's me talking and not me talking because the microphone decided not to record. But the ambulance made it nice and safe after a journey that took a lot longer than we anticipated. But as always, we have to rest up, fuel up after even a long journey. And then we'll see you tomorrow for race day. Oh yeah! And we've made it to race day. The boat is all rigged up, ready to go. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, since our journey took that little bit longer and the other journeys of the smaller vehicles was that little bit shorter, the boat was able to be magically rigged by some of the other guys in the boat. So thank you to those guys. But now we're going to get in the boat and experience the water here in Vichy for the first time. And then we've got the race this evening but you might be able to tell it's not raining right now but the forecast is scheduled to be thundery and rainy but very warm so see how that goes a little bit of adventure through the day let's get on the water for now <laughs> Allez, go. 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 Go.
the ambulance back to the hotel after an interesting session isn't that right Yam? Will you tell the Yam squad about the course? No. I'll tell you about the course so great to get out there this morning just a shorter paddle and as you saw Yam's had enough as you've seen the did a little bit of high intensity and it was really good to get out there on the course and see the different markers because every course is different and I was actually just we were turning around a part of the course around one of the ends of the course and I was thinking what an opportunity we have today Yam Squad so it was out there new course for me diff never rode here before and it's just really appreciating the moment and also getting out there experiencing the course for the race this evening really had to it's an interesting one because there are a bunch of markers, but there aren't really sort of markers that you can say, okay, 500 is at, say, that big house, or the 1K is at that big building, whatever it is, and the markers themselves on the course, like the 1K, the 500, the 1500, like buoys or buoys or big blocks that say the numbers on them aren't too obvious, so really had to spend time rowing around the course this morning, looking around saying, okay, when I'm in the middle of the race and I see that building, or if I've missed the, the actual numbered marker, I know roughly where I am in the race. So now, after the session this morning, a little bit of just getting the legs awake this morning, and then we rest, we fuel up, because remember, food is fuel. And then it's uh, later in the evening race, it's around 6.50 p.m. But there are a lot of thunderstorms, not scheduled, forecasted. So we're not sure if it's going to be changed. But that's for future Yam Squad to look forward to. Right now, time to rest up, put the feet up, maybe a little bit of a nap. Definitely some food, because remember, food is fuel. And then I'll see you closer to race time. Huh? quick stop for fueling up here at the course prior to our race this evening but now we're going to head back to the hotel chill out relax before we get on the race but again similar to the regatta previously volunteers parents helping out preparing the food an awesome setup we've got here for can and it's going to be a great weekend to be able to just chill out here keep an eye on the boats and the water's just there we've got some ergs here food there absolutely brilliant now time to relax chill out and we'll see you getting back on the water for our race this evening. We are back at the course. Now it's time to race. But before we can go and race, we have to go and warm up. Even though it is approaching 30 degrees here, here in Vichy, we still have to get the body prepared for what's coming. And what is coming, we're going to try and go as fast as we can for two kilometers in the eight against some other eights in the heats for the French National Championships. So, I'll see you on the water after our warm-up. Aix-les-Bains, Verdun, 
Bergerac. Attention. And we finished up the race. Interesting how it unfolded. Have a little bit of a chat after we warm down. It's absolutely roasting, sweating all over the place, but my hat kept me relatively cool. But again, probably gonna be hot on Sunday now. We get a day off, but again, have a little bit of a longer chat after we cool down. And as Yam and I wait for dinner to be prepared by the fantastic volunteers of parents preparing dinner behind me in the tents, just want to say thank you to said parents and volunteers, just making that a little bit easier for the athletes here to fuel up, to hydrate, to, to put their best selves on the start line for the races. So thank you very much. And it's an amazing setup Can has here. And like we've seen in the previous or a couple of episodes ago at the other regatta, it's an amazing group to be part of just at any regatta. So now on to the race itself. We were down off of the start. I think we were four for fifth after the first 250 or so. And then through the rest of the race, we sort of just took inch by inch, moved on the other crews bit by bit. And then we ended up in second place behind Vard Ver Verdun, who have won this French national championships over the last multiple years so it's a really good crew to be pushing and trying to compete with and i'm really proud of how the crew approached the race today we were really dialed in and also even though we were down in a place where we didn't want to be off of the start it felt like all nine of us took it upon ourselves as a as a group rather than individually to take stroke by stroke inch by inch to get back the distance we may have lost off the start. So really positive sort of approach to the race. I'm really excited for how we take that on and how that evolves into the final of the French National Championships in this boat right here, which will not be happening tomorrow. We've got a day of rest between that and the final. And so tomorrow will be a case of, we will go out on the water again and try and fine tune a couple of things and then also not trying to spend too much energy because it's going to be really hot as well so it could be quite easy to spend too much energy but also not just doing nothing and complete rest because we want to be ready to go for the finals in two days time so really excited for that but that'll be it for today thank you again to the volunteers and the parents and everyone helping out the athletes for CA not and that'll be it for today just going to rest up relax fuel up because remember food is fuel and enjoy the rest time before we finish off this part of the Euro trip journey at the finals in this boat right here at the French National Championships. Oh, you. On se rapproche. Allez, tête. Et roule.
A lovely morning session this morning on the water, nice calm conditions. Getting out there once more to fine tune ourselves for tomorrow for the race, but now it's time to take Yam to the vet. But nothing serious, just have to get some tablets for Yam to cross the border because it's a requirement to get your pet back to the UK. And we have completed the journey, the adventure to the vets. Luckily, it's really simple. Actually, the first time, so with Brexit, there is a change in form filling that you have to do for transporting pets between Europe and the UK. Basically, uh, filled in the form and got a deworming tablet for Yam to get him into the UK. So, went without a hitch, especially with the help of Antoine here, <laughs> with a little bit of translation. And now, time to fuel up, of course, because remember, food is fuel, and then relax. Because, like I said, today there is no race, tomorrow we have a race. So getting the feet up, relaxing, but also not too much because we still want to be on point for racing tomorrow. Ah. Oops, And we've made it into Vichy, into the center of town in our rest day for a little bit of a stretch for the legs and some ice cream, of course. But now we're gonna to head to the course to derig the eight because the winds are supposed to be quite significant tonight, so we don't want it to blow away in the wind. So nice and secure on the trailer with the other boats. But before we do that, we're gonna get out onto the water. So I will see you out there. Hello YouTubers and welcome in this new episode of Rowing in Nantes. Yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> All hands on deck, the storm's incoming and we've got to get the boat derigged, so let's get to it. Oh yeah! Don't get it! And the boat has made it onto the trailer, one of the fastest derigs I've ever experienced because we're trying to get the boat onto the trailer very quickly because the storm really is coming in quickly. The rain is starting to pitter patter and forecasted to be massive thunderstorms and perhaps some hail as well. So right now, a little bit of thunder, so all water activities have been canceled. So we're not getting out there onto the water this evening. Hopefully we do tomorrow. But that's for future Yam Squad to look forward to right now. We're probably going to just chill out, relax, and then head out to racing tomorrow. And of course, we can't forget to fuel up, but it's chucking it down, so we're going to fuel up and get on the move and stay out of the storm. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Antoine again. So this is the third plate of food. Cameron, so I think uh, food is not just you, but also an addiction for Cameron. So a little bit of a disaster this evening. We went, not even to sleep yet, just finishing off some food, relaxing for the evening, about to go to sleep, and a humongous hailstorm, the biggest hailstorm I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Unfortunately, the ambulance seems to take the brunt of the hail stones. So the solar panels, significant damage to one of them. The other one right now is okay hole in this window and the rear window not ideal either so Yam and I are both safe so that is good but the ambulance is going to need some repairs and also I'm going to have to look at the Lamborghini name yet to be determined to see if that's okay as well it's been in the bag it's got cushioning but the hailstones as I think you've probably already seen were baseball size. So the biggest I've ever seen. Unfortunate to happen on the eve of the big finals, but maybe the finals 
we'll see what happens tomorrow because obviously the boats are outside in the boat parks so if it causes damage to these windows solar panels does it cause the damage to the boats as always we deal with the cards we're given unfortunate to be dealt these cards but we deal with it and move on so stay tuned to see how we do deal with it So we've made it to the course now. We've done some repairs on the ambulance. Can't really do much more than that. And now we're moving the eight, the boats that we've been rowing in inside because it's gonna keep hailing overnight, unfortunately. So a little bit of an update, we all rushed here to try and move all of the boats inside because there was another wave of hail coming. So to try and prevent some more damage done to all of the boats. So pretty much the whole championship are indoors in the big building just here, just across from the water itself. But for us, as you've seen those pictures, those videos previously, that's of our eight and the girls eight. So we will not be racing, at the very least, in those boats. We're waiting on official word from the organizers to see what's happening tomorrow. So I'll keep you updated, but it's just a really unfortunate place to be. Pretty much all the boats for Cannes have been damaged and won't be able to race tomorrow. And we've made it back to the hotel room. No official word yet to see what's happening in the, well, today, later on today, later into the night now, or early morning, because helping out with all the boats. Luke's made it back to the room as well. He's helping one of the rooms has flooded, so it's been a really interesting evening. And I'll let you know in the morning what's happening with us as we are still finding out what is happening. But for now, rest and trying to relax after an adventurous evening. And we've made it back to the course. We're getting all the boats assessed and taken apart to go onto the trailer because the racing has been cancelled today. Understandably so. So much damage to so many boats. I think pretty much every single boat here for Cannes is non rowable. So even if racing was going ahead, we would have to be finding other boats. And I'm sure we're not the only club with damage to their boats. Pretty much every single club has some damage. Not just to the boats as well, as you've seen earlier, the ambulance, mucho's damage to the roof, windows, solar panels, and I've got to go look at what's happening with that later on once we tidy up and get all the boats put on the trailer. And so with racing cancelled, it means that the medals are still given out here in France. How it works is it goes off the previous race results. So for example, in the men's eight, the winners of the heats get first and second place, then second place in the heats get third and fourth place. And so for us, we were the fastest second place of the two heats, so therefore we are in third place for the French National Championships. So we'll go get our medal at some point once we have put all the boats away. But I think I can speak for the guys in the boat and say that's not how we wanted to earn third place. We wanted to go out today on the water and a classic now, the day is a lovely morning. We go out and go as fast as we can and put a race together that we would be proud of and using the things we have learned through the previous races and the training. But we don't get that opportunity this year, maybe next year. But now, like I said, putting the boats on the trailer, putting everything away, getting everything secure, and then we're going to have a last check of the ambulance and the Lamborghini name yet to be determined. Okay, so we've got the Lamborghini name yet to be determined. On the slings, the bag is coming off. 
now to see now to see was the damage or not damage on the other side. Oh, Pablo. Oh. Here, maybe. Oh, yeah. You've got to hit. What's he doing? Well, what's up, me? Here, also. A bit. I don't know. Here. Yeah, that's a bit. Here, bit. here, you have one. Oh, yes, good. Here, also. Uh, just a. Uh, Little? Little bit. Yeah, a little bit here yeah. and uh, yeah. big here. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. that's not good. So, uh, and a uh, little here yeah. again. Well, that's not rollable. So, unfortunately, um, so maybe that end of the boat is a little bit of tape job, a little bit of glue, but this part of the boat here, that's taken a serious bit of hail. Or maybe a couple of bits of serious golf ball, baseball sized hail, unfortunately. So the Yamagini name yet to be determined is out of commission for now. And it's going to have to go get repaired again. So not ideal at all. Pas bon du tout. So now we put the Yamagini name yet to be determined back on the rack, back on the ambulance, who also needs repaired. And phone the insurance, phone Hudson, and see what we can do for the upcoming part of the Euro trip journey. Luckily, I don't have to, I don't need the Lamborghini name yet to be determined today or even tomorrow. I have to drive to the next location, but it would be good to be able to row in a boat considering I'm planning to race in a boat. So we'll see how the Lamborghini name yet to be determined gets on over the next couple of weeks. Make sure you are subscribed to see how we get on. And now, time to go get some medals for the French National Championship. got our medals absolutely fantastic and Yam as well our mascot And we have received our medals. Absolutely fantastic. What an opportunity we have out here today. A bit hot now, but that will be it for the French portion of the Euro trip in the Yambulance, in the Yamborghini name yet to be determined with Yam and you, the Yam squad. Really appreciate coming along with me on the journey. Definitely didn't end this portion of the journey how I anticipated as Yam goes and takes a little bit of a drink. But as always, we deal with the cards we are dealt and see how we get on from there. But now we go on to the next portion of the Euro trip journey, deal with the ambulance's damage, deal with the Lamborghini name yet to be determined's damage and move on. But really excited for the next portion of the journey. And lastly, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has helped in this portion of the journey, the volunteers for Cannes, for CA Nantes, They've been absolutely amazing, helping, like I said the other day, fueling up, just helping out rig boats, derig boats, even last night, helping out move the boats, getting them out of the way of the bad weather. Unfortunately, the damage was quite severe already, but the setup here at Nantes, the club, such a tight knit group and everyone really helping out each other, which is amazing to see and something I would hope to take into the clubs that I am part of in the future. And as always, if you like this video, hit that like button.
If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified for the next part of the Euro trip journey. And I will see you in the aforementioned part of the Euro trip journey. Yeah. You saying bye? Hello Yam Squad, so not quite the end of the episode. I've been talking with the coaches at CA Nant about the amount of damage caused by the hailstorms and it's quickly racking up into the hundreds of thousands of euros of damage. So obviously insurance will cover a good portion of it, but there is still an amount into the tens of thousands of euros that still has to be paid by the club. So they have created a donation link that if you would like to go help them out, I would really appreciate it. I'll put it in the link in the description below because I spent almost six weeks there and they were so welcoming to me and they let me film and they brought me in and improved my rowing and I had a great time there and I'm sure that if you wanted to row there, it would be a really easy thing to do, just getting in touch with them. But right now, they're really looking for help. So if you're able to help, it would be great to go to the link in the description below and help them out. But if not, really appreciate you watching to this point in the video and I will see you in the next part of the Eurotrip journey. Oh yeah!